G'day guys, welcome to this week's weekly developer update. I'm CW and joining me once again we have Armenio. How are you mate? Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Exciting times, uh, Ergo's turning four. Uh, what do we have sort of jam-packed for um, our Ergonaut community? Oh, we've got a pretty solid list coming out. Um, you know, the ecosystem uh, has really stepped up this time in terms of contributing content, letting people know what they're building. Yep. I'm excited. You know, if you look at where we were a year ago to where we are today, different ecosystem. So, yeah. As we continue to evolve, move forward, uh, you know, it kind of opens the question, what will we look like next year, right? Yeah, well, that's that's pretty exciting prospect, isn't it? Because like you mentioned, look where we were sort of 12 months ago. Um, it was kind of, well, how would you say? It was like the the wallet age of Ergo. Um, obviously, we were sort of needing that, that infrastructure. It was a key piece for the ecosystem to sort of start thriving with the dApps and everything else like that. But um, we've seen that progression now to for for projects actually starting to deliver and come onto mainnet and things like that. So exciting times ahead. Um, really excited to see what the, the next twelve months holds. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of neat stuff that's going to be covered. So hopefully uh, everybody out there tunes in. Yeah, most definitely. So uh, there is a um, Erga. Ergiversary Summit. So we have a number of videos and everything lined up for the 1st of July when Ergo does turn four. Um, so yeah, be on, by all means, check out our social media and YouTube um, for the latest developments there of everything that's happening in the ecosystem. So yeah, stay tuned. All right, well, let's, uh, let's jump into the developer update. All right. So kicking things off. We have Echo Smarkus again jumping in a little bit early. Um, so the latest developments on the Erg Explorer front. Uh, there's a Medium article, so you can jump on there and check it out. But in short, uh, the dollar values everywhere, thanks to Spectrum Finance's API, ErgoPad staking investing info, uh, rescraped all token data, so now showing the correct mint and current address for NFTs. Also added info if the NFT is burned. Uh, there's ASCII art tokens. And then next up, rework the main page with more useful data and visual updates that will also allow for better display of some information. And as always, awesome. open source, so you can chuck on, jump onto the repo. Great to see that community explore come together. Yeah, most definitely. All right, next it looks like we have Alex uh, from the ecosystem core protocol uh reference client development looks like he's reviewed prs for 5.0.13 and the chat gpt plugin pr uh he's looking at playing with okay. uh reviewed um both of those i'm pretty excited to see what happens with the chat gpt that'll be interesting to see how that improves people's ability to work with ergo yeah, most definitely. On, say, the development front, but then also um, the information like docs and things like that also. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot that that can be used as a, you know, it can be a powerful tool. Yep. Uh, looks like he also merged the latest changes in Nepopal and Sync version 3 PRs, working on bootstrapping with Nepopal's polishing there. And he reviewed a update to the Sigma State Interpreter. Uh, on the Dexy, a uh, fixed issue found in the intervention contract, uh, reviewed and fixed protocol parameters, uh, some minor white paper draft updates, and put together some slides for the Ergoversary Summit. So those of you out there that want to learn more about Dexy, it looks like Alex is going to make a video. Um, looks like in other, he's uh, doing some slides and videos for the summit. Takes a lot of time, as always. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, one thing I found personally when I've started doing this sort of side of things is the amount of time and effort and everything that goes in behind the scenes for a, even say a ten second, a ten minute video. Um, it's yeah, a fair bit of in, uh, information and time. So, thanks for chucking that together, Alex. Scroll through all these links, and next up we have Green Hat. 
And then on his progress, he's added total Oracle tokens count to the metrics, uh, released Oracle Core version 2, beta 11, finished the slides for the Summit presentation. Great to see another one contributor there. So moved Node API key from the Oracle config YAML to Oracle Node APL key environment variable. Also hunted down an issue with uh, his Oracle occasionally missing the data points. Uh, tested Prometheus Alert Manager delivering pull Oracle down alerts to pager duty. And next, make another release. So test the pull box top up from the buyback box and test the new governance simplified voting in the gold erg pool on testnet. Awesome. Yep. All right, looks like next we have Louis Vatra uh, with Paideia, uh, the beta update. Uh, integrated the proposal and voting into the web two backend. Uh, proposals not created through our UI will still show up and allow for commenting and following, et cetera. Uh, found a bug in the protocol proxy refund logic. We'll fix it before we open for public testing. Uh, created an endpoint to show transactions happening on the treasury of a DAO and giving them labels, deposit withdrawal, staking operations, etc. That's pretty nice to see. Yep. Uh, created an endpoint that takes a uh, pay to script address and will return the contract name version in which DAO it belongs to or unknown if it doesn't match anything. And staking front end uh, mostly implemented. Now proposals voting needs to be handled on the front end. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to see that moving along. It's a much anticipated uh, sort of infrastructure or, or project for the ecosystem where many people can utilize it. It's, it's a sign of maturity, I think. You know, a, a yeah. management tool. Yeah. Uh, sometimes management of crypto projects is just messy <laughs> that's a <laughs> nice way to put it that says it all <laughs> okay next up we have mhs and the rosenbridge update so on the ts guard service refracted version of the transaction agreements tested and available in github so the transaction processor modules refracted and under test and review and rosen chains so some minor bugs found during the transaction agreement module test and fixed, and new versions have been released. Uh, so on to the Watcher app and Guard app, still working on the apps, so updates can be tracked in the GitHub repo. And there's uh, a potential for a similar tax in the current Watcher architecture. So they've modified it in order to mitigate such attacks and will fix, uh, and a fix will be implemented in the following days, so details will be provided later. We just iron out, iron out all the details there. All right, looks like next we have Pragma Kasim. He's been working on the Ergo U Explorer. Uh, finished a few P PRs in U Explorer that you can read about uh, at the following GitHub link. Uh, past work was and is mostly about performance, making sure that it is always under two to three hours so you explore can evolve as a data model and design changes require uh, re-indexing. The current work is about extending the data model with ergo tree, contract hash, and template hash, transactions, tokens, and registers. Awesome. Yep. Great to see work happening there. Okay, next we have Morphic, and on the Sigma side, release candidate version 5.0.9 is approved. I'll do it later. I'll do the release later, sorry. So it includes ERP-5 contract template implementation. Also fixed cross-compilation of ErgoScript compiler to JavaScript. So however, there's a technical issue with the scalable type. Uh, so which he doesn't know how to solve as yet. So the main obstacle for having a pure JS ergo script compiler, compiler at the moment. Uh, so help with this issue is very welcome. So if anyone has any experience or knowledge there, by all means, jump out and give more quick a hand. On the ergo side, addressed and reviewed comments for the ergo node chat GPT plugin integration. And then AppKit uh, version 5.0.3 has been released. And then next up, uh, publish Ergo Script compiler to JS and implement the multi sig in AppKit based on ERP 11. 
Awesome. Uh, next, it looks like we have Ilya from Spectrum. So Spectrum Network, which, you know, those of you that don't know, uh, the Spectrum team's kind of doing three things at once. They're building on Ergo, they're building on Cardano, and they're building their own Layer 2 uh, network. So Spectrum Network has implemented broadcasting mini, mini protocol, uh, integrated broadcasting into aggregation flow for better consistency and fault tolerance, interoperability models and pipeline master and foreign chains. Uh, continues to work on Sigma aggregation for Byzantine case work in progress and building authenticated persistent storage of AVL trees is also a work in progress. Uh, for Spectrum Finance on Cardano, uh, the back end, they've uh, looks like they've implemented Analytics API version one for the Cardano AMM. A reward distribution system for LB SP, a work in progress. Uh, the Cardano AMM off chain execution bots are under testing. And then he's put together some docs refactoring Cardano uh, off chain execution bots documentation. On the front end side of things, uh, fix the refund and deposit operation, uh, fix the wrong fee calculation for the swap operation. I redesigned liquidity pools for the LBSP event. Uh, minor UX bugs, looks like that's a work in progress. Order history uh, UX is a work in progress. All wallet integrations is currently under testing. Uh, putting together a new token list, uh, Ergo token list, Cardano token list. Uh, projects are welcome to add metadata for their tokens. Plenty going on there on that front, isn't there? Like you said, yeah. the, the three sort of aspects on on where they're actually building, but yeah, multiple sort of um, fronts as well. Plenty going on. And speaking as such, LGD um, got his fingers in many pies, and then so on. Guap Swap has finished integration integrating the new Spectrum Swap by V three contracts started. Uh, started to rewrite contracts for the new architecture. So the two main features will be the following. Uh, Guap swap. So swapping mined erg for native erg, ergo, to ergo aspect. Let me rephrase that. Swapping mined erg for native ergo assets on Spectrum. Got there in the end. So Guap drop. So being able to send your mined erg to anyone you want. So kind of like an airdrop, hence the name. And then new architecture enables them to add new features in the future without affecting existing features. So, for example, it will be possible to integrate a FIMO. Uh, so the functionality in Guap Swap for any project interested in launching this way. That's a really interesting aspect, and I can't wait for the first project to launch in that way. Um, sort of really unique use case for proof of work. Yeah. Uh, so on the Lilium front, the front end for the new features still in progress and hopefully launched by this weekend. So, and then on to Zengate, so made initial cost estimate for transactions in traceability protocol. So we'll refine, refine once the contracts are written and ex, exact box sizes are known. On the V1 protocol, high level design for traceability solutions, basically complete and starting on the library setup and contracts this week. And then finally on the Blitz TCG, uh, still working on off-chain code and starting the transaction bot this week. Lots going on there. Yeah, it looks like next, uh, Noah gave us an update from Crassifus Blazon. Uh, those of you that don't know, he's working on duck pools, which is a peer-to-pool uh, lending protocol. Yeah. So it looks like they're ready for private testing. It's been a busy week preparing the UI for private testing. And we are pleased to announce that things are ready to go. Uh, testing will be conducted and discussed in Discord. If you're eager to participate, uh, please see our latest Discord announcement. Initially, we'll be testing the full launch contracts for the ERG pool, proceeding with the SIG USD pool roughly one and a half weeks later. Finally, the SIG RSV and the Quax pool. So those of you out there that uh, want to hop on to the Duck Pools Discord and help them 
break, refine, and uh, perfect their uh, build, please participate. Yeah, most definitely. And just a little bit further as well, uh, scrolling down, Noah's provided the link to their Discord. So if you're interested, jump on there. Okay, scrolling down, uh, we have Death Grips on then Adelaide on Analog Ergo. So finish building and testing custom lock time and refund functionalities. Added threading to in, uh, to intensive operations for preventing uh, GUI freezes. Also updated Solidity contract to take the modular lock time parameter and then starting on automatic claim refund feature. Sweet. All right, it looks like next uh, we got a little update from MGPI regarding Ergo names. Uh, he's adding front running fixes and getting UI UX Figma render done. Sweet. Scrolling down, I think that's everything. So it's great to see lots happening in the ecosystem as always. Um, I know I love a number of the contributors who have actually provided updates this week, are, are providing updates and um, submissions to the Ergiversary Summit, which, um, yeah, like we touched on in the intro, by all means, jump on and, and um, take a keen interest there and see what's happening in the ecosystem. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see it. I, I'm, I think that uh, having more uh, contribution beyond just the core is really important. You know, I think yeah. that in itself uh, kind of shows the growth and maturity of the ecosystem. Yeah, and people and in front are starting to step into the front and you know, the EF is becoming less important. That's good to yeah, see. Most definitely. And that's what I was just about to touch on is also number of contributors behind the scenes um, helping organize and run and, and create content and things like that also. So um, huge shout out to all the Sigmanauts involved on that front also. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning into another weekly developer update. It's always a pleasure bringing these. And Joe, it's always a pleasure chatting, mate. Yeah, have a good one, everybody. <laughs> now, go, go get some sleep. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good one.